Hey guys, welcome to another review here on Ed Review What. Today we're at the Residence Inn by Marriott in Burbank, uh, downtown Burbank to be exact. And as you can see by my card number, we're checked into room 209. And as you can see, uh, everything, all the services are now open. They have breakfast hours uh, Monday through Friday, 6.30 a.m. Uh, to 9 and Saturday and Sunday, 7 a.m. to 9.30 fitness center is open 24 hours and the pool is pretty decent hours between 9 a.m and 10 p.m all right so the rate we paid for this for this uh, room one king bed came out to 199 and this is midweek on a tuesday and this is the residence inn so as far as residence inn as you know they come with uh pretty much uh, full-size refrigerator they also have a microwave they have a sink coffee maker a dishwasher and it also comes with uh, you know cups glasses it also comes with plates and stuff so if you're planning to visit LA or you're going to be here for a week on a meeting or what have you. Uh, this is a perfect place because, you know, sometimes you do get tired of eating out and you just want to eat at home, eat at home, or you're just tired. So you just want to pick up some things and put some things together. Uh, have your milk for your cereal, even though they do offer free breakfast. You may not, you may be working on a different schedule. Good thing here also is that they also have an ice maker. So they don't have ice machines here because each room technically has a ice maker in it. So that's pretty good, especially for a family, especially if you decided to make Burbank your focal point. If you're coming to Los Angeles to visit Universal, uh, if you're coming here to see Disney or Knott's Berry Farm or even Magic Mountain, it's not the center. So you're still gonna have to drive if you're going to Anaheim, Buena Park, even if you're just going to Universal, it's still gonna be a little bit of a drive, not too much. But remember, when Google says it's only 10 minutes, remember you have to throw in LA traffic in the mix. All right, so they also have a little seating area here. So if you will need to do some work, uh, schoolwork, what have you, set up your computer right here. Another area right here where you could have another person in here, they could, um, I believe I'm not sure I don't think this turns into a bed but it's it's big enough so if somebody needed to sleep here they could they could use it as that or you could um, have another you know invite people over to watch the big game and you have plenty of room right there and you have the TV right in the center of the room so instead of having two TVs one for like the bedroom area and having like one of those walls in the middle and then having another area for the living room. It basically has one TV that swivels, so it goes either way. So that's pretty cool. And what's cool nowadays is that they understand that most people have a Netflix, uh, YouTube Premium, Pandora, Showtime, or what have you. They have a subscription already. So instead of the hotel dishing out that money to to pay for an HBO subscription or what have you. They could just give you access to your own subscription here. And it says right here, it actually says Showtime free with your stay, which is uh, actually real cool. So this is the king bed right here. Pretty nice. I always like it when they have a place where you can put your phone or, or your wallet or something real close to you. Right there, all, all your important things. Just keep it close to you and you could also charge it because they have uh, outlets right there on the lights uh the the view isn't too much to write home about um it's the view of the five south and the five north but if you're really big into ikea the ikea is within walking distance and there's a black angus right next door and you're also real close to basically downtown burbank where they have a lot of restaurants shopping uh amc movie theater um, so it's everything's fairly close and so if you need something you can probably find it on on San Fernando Road which is the main drag here and what I also do like is they have a separate uh, sink area for say you just want to wash up you want to brush your teeth wash your hands or what have you you don't need to be 
in the restroom so somebody else could also be in the restroom taking care of what they need to take care of and let's see we got toiletries right here and they're by paul mitchell so you have let's see face and body bar you have uh, another face and body bar you have a small shampoo and a small conditioner and real simple restroom setup toilet typical shower head nothing special no bathtub in here but it works and especially if you're going to be here for say for business and you're going to be here for a week or so plenty of space um, for your suits your, your nice uh, work dresses work clothes uh, we got storage right here and we got storage right here and you also have a little space right here for dining or just another work area if you need to um, so like I said this is the residence inn by Marriott located in downtown Burbank uh, we're fairly close to downtown it'll take you about say 30 minutes to get to downtown probably an hour to get you to Disneyland or Knott's Berry Farm maybe half an hour to get to Universal and uh, yeah we're right so if you don't mind driving um, and if you do decide to rent a car and you're coming here uh, from out of town uh, parking is $18 per night so add that to your budget all right guys well once again this is the residence inn by Marriott here in Burbank California all right guys and I don't know if I mentioned it but I guess the most important thing is it's $199 per night and this is on the midday all right guys Thanks for watching another review here on Ed Reviewed What. Please like and subscribe, share, and let me know what you think. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and uh, safe travels.